everybody once again i'm robert and this is corvette world dallas i want to thank you all for joining us again for another video on a beautiful 2009 victory red z06 so check this beauty out so a couple things off the bat one of the previous owners or i should say the previous owner because this is a one owner car had installed the zr1 style front splitter and had a painted body color you may also notice this sensor here and a lot of people have done that to the old C6s to indicate that when they're approaching curbs, it'll beep. It'll beep at them, essentially a proximity sensor for parking. So that's a nice plus, especially when you see how low the C6 EO6s sit. So as we make our way around this thing, a couple things of note. Um, 2009 was the first year that these wheels became standardized. It actually debuted in 2008 with the Will Cooksey edition only. Otherwise, all the other Z06s had a 10-spoke straight style wheel. But then in 09, they went to the Spider style. And this, of course, remains popular to this day, as I've seen a lot of people do aftermarket, very similar to this design. We have the red Brembo brake calipers, and it has aftermarket chrome mesh inserts. I know some people have mixed opinions about that. Obviously, they can always be removed, but this person elected to do that. It looks okay. And it, it's not like he did it uniformly around the car. Another note about 2009, it was the last year they had the GM badge here. A little subtle uh, nerd moment here for Corvette lore before they stopped doing that. Uh, the rear mud guards are, are standard. And while we're back here, both front and rear, you can tell we got a very meaty Michelin Pilot, 4, Pilot Sport 4S model tire. So that is the modern tire that comes on the C8 Z51. Obviously, these are sized for the Z06. So that is an excellent tire and a great choice for this car. Coming to the back, we have the optional full width spoiler. That's what they call this when you have the full width and it's higher. It's not like the ZR1 style that kind of bows or the standard little flip one. This is the premium spoiler. And then we have uh, the previous owner did a aftermarket body color style rear diffuser. I don't know what brand, but it's definitely unique and uh, gives the car more flair and goes well with that front splitter, kind of creating a more of a wide silhouette to the car. NPP multi-mode exhaust is standard on the C6 Z06. And of course this one has it. It is not a mild to wild. I want to stress that it only opens upon acceleration. Coming to the uh, rear trunk here, you can see we have plenty of space in our hatch. We also have one storage cubby here. The other one in the Z06, since this is a dry sump, will be the battery. So. Just keep that in mind on the dry sum cars for the C6, the, the right storage cubby is always the battery. All right, coming to the interior, we got some aftermarket style upgrades I gotta talk about. So as you can see here, a carbon fiber style wrap was added to the door panel here, lower and upper. And, it's, and he changed this out with a, it's, I wanna call it a faux carbon fiber cover. It's actually very similar to the OEM finishes on the center console, but definitely a trim upgrade. This red trim is also an upgrade. If you come to the um, heads-up display controls and the uh, and the uh, instrument cluster controls, you can see he's also got those same custom attachments added. The center console, you can see it does have the navigation, which of course is a DVD nav style. It does have a faux carbon fiber wrap around the armrest, and it does have the red leather stitching throughout the seats and the Z06 embroidery on the headrest. And of course, all C6 Z06s come standard as a manual transmission. Coming to the heart and soul of the Z06, of course, we've got our beautiful 7 liter LS7 V8. That's 427 cubic inches in a small block. It is the largest small block production stock factory um, mass produced engine ever made. And uh, it is 505 horsepower. It does have an aftermarket Callaway cold air intake honker, as they call it. Uh, usually good for a couple horsepower and definitely better cooling. Otherwise, this Z06 is bone stock. And when you get down on it, it has, it's very deceptive because the exhaust manifolds on this are fairly large. So a lot of people think they're headers, they're not. It is a manifold, but it is a very large manifold. And dry sump is standard, as you can see, as I mentioned earlier about the battery. See, normally the battery be there, you have the dry sump reservoir. So this 2009 Z06 has 20,582 miles as of check-in. We got it priced at 49,995. And it is a one owner clean Carfax car. If you are interested in this beautiful Corvette or any other Corvettes in my inventory, please see our info up in the corner and down in the description below. Tell me what you think. This was the last year for Victory Red before they went back to Torch Red. It's one of the few times they deviated from that famous Torch Red. 
I like it. I think it's pretty, and I do love the chrome wheels on this one. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.